hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome to sew with mediva and if you're a returning subscriber or a returning viewer thank you for sticking to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i made this simple jacket with a notched collar and i made use of one and a half yard of ankara fabric so in my previous video i showed you guys how to draft out the pattern to make this simple jacket i'll leave the link in the description box and i'll also leave it linked in the comment section so let's jump right into the sewing part of the video so guys i've gone ahead to use the patterns to cut out the fabric so this is what it looks like so these are the back panels and as you can see i added half an inch this is the center back i'm gonna head to label it and i added half an inch all the way around it because of the joining allowance i hope you guys understand add half an inch all the way around it i have two pieces of it as you can see and i also have the lining pieces as well so this is what we have so this is the side back i added half an inch to this side i'll be joining to the center but i did not add to the side because the pattern already has seam allowance so these are the front panels so like i did with the back the side the center back i added half an inch all the way around it as you can see for turning over with the line and for joining together so for this center front you're going to be using the same fabric as the lining because of the color so i have to cut out four pieces of it because i'll use two as lining and for the other one i have the black lining so that when you turn it over to the right side your lining will not be showing so it's to be showing the same fabric so for the side front i added half an inch all the way around without adding to the sides so for the color as well so this is the closed angle of the fabric i folded my fabric into two to cut out the color and I added half an inch all the way around it as well as you can see so I have two pieces of this color for turning over this is what we have so let me go ahead to remove the patterns while we start to work on the fabric so we're going to start with the back panels and I'm going to just remove the patterns from the fabric this way and separate the lining from it So now we're going to join all these pieces together so when you open it up you're going to have something that looks like this let me just arrange this for you guys to see so you have two pieces of the center back which we are going to be closing up and then the sides so to start joining i'm going to start with the center back so remember we already added half an inch for the joining allowance so i'm going to place them right sides facing each other this way and then go ahead to close it up all the way down so when i'm done with that i will join the sides to the center back i will place it on it again this way you can use your pins to hold it down before you join it and stitch it all the way up and then i'll do the same thing for the other side i'll place it on it this way and using the half of an inch that we added all around the pattern and then join it all together so when i'm done joining to form a warm bodies i'm going to show you guys what it looks like so guys after joining all the pieces together this is what it looks like so we have one full bodies for the back now so what you're going to do now is to open up this same area and just iron it flat open it up and iron it very well so that it becomes flat so this is going to help your seam look very neat on the wrong on the right side of the fabric so i'm going to set this back panel aside while we work on the front panel so these are the front panels so i'll go ahead to just remove the patterns just like i did for the back and then i'll separate the lining pieces so like i said earlier the lining pieces for this center front is the same fabric because i want my color to be the same fabric so whatever color you want or whatever fabric you want your color to be is going to be the lining you'll be using i hope you guys understand so that when you turn it over that is going to show on the right side so right now i'm going to separate two pieces um from it i'm going to take out two pieces. i'm going to separate the lining for the sides as well so whatever you are doing on the main fabric you're going to do it on the lining pieces as well so just like my back panel the way i have joined all these fabrics together i'm also going to join the lining pieces this way also but for this um front for the center front this fabric i'm going to iron a lightweight stay on it so that it becomes stable for the color you can use your color stay so that you have this firm um, feeling for the color so that's what I'm going to do only for the center front before I join it to the side so for this um, front panel I'm going to separate them now this way so we have two pieces for the center front but we're not going to join them together because it's a jacket 
so i'm going to join the sides to each of these center fronts now so using the half inch allowance i'm going to join the sides to the center front this way right sides facing each other and then i will just go ahead to join it all the way up so after that i'm going to do the same thing for the other one i'll join it together all the way up so i'll repeat the same process on the lining pieces i'll join them together this way so when i'm done with that i'll iron it out and show you guys what it looks like so guys after joining the front panels together this is what it looks like so i have also ironed it out so this is what we have and i've also joined the lining pieces just like i explained earlier and i ironed the stay on the wrong side of the center front so this is what we have i have also ironed this out so this is what the lining of the back panel looks like after joining it and this is the main bodies of the back panel so i opened up the seam and just ironed it out so that it appears really neat on the right side as you can see but the next thing to do is to join the front and the back panels together so i'm going to place them right sides facing each other this way apply to arrange it and then starting from the shoulder area i'm going to join it together using half of an inch so when i'm done with that side i'll place the other one as well and join the shoulder areas again so after doing that i'll arrange the sides and using my one and a half inches seam allowance i will close up the sides i'll do the same thing for the other side and show you guys so after joining the front and the back panels together this is what it looks like so the jacket is taking shape already so this is what we have so i'm still going to iron this out but before i do that i'm going to notch the inner seam around this waist area so that it relaxes very well so I'm going to just notch it, cut out the seam at that waist area so that it will relax very well on the right side. So this is what it looks like now on the right side. This is what we have. I'll go ahead to iron it. So the next thing we want to do is to attach the upper collar to these um, bodies. So for the lining pieces as well, I've joined everything together and this is what we have. I also ironed it out. So let's go ahead to work on the upper collar. So moving to the collar now, I'll go ahead to separate the pattern from the fabric and open it up. So on one of this fabric, I'm going to iron my collar stay to it. So when I'm done with that, I'll show you guys the next thing to do. So after I iron the stay to one side of the collar, so the next thing is to join the two pieces of fabrics together. So I'm going to place them right sides facing each other this way. And then i'm going to close it up on this side this side that looks straight i'm going to close it up from the lower part and stitch it all the way to the other side all the way down this way so this lower part that is kind of curved is going to be opened because that part is going to be going around the neckline i hope you guys understand so i'll go ahead to stitch that point closed and then i'll show you guys what it looks like so after stitching the collar down and turning over to the right side this is what it looks like i've gone ahead to iron it so the next thing you want to do is to fold it into two equal parts and just notch the midpoint this way and then come over to the midpoint of the back neckline the point you joined and place that part that has the um stay and then fit in your collar into the neckline this way so i'm going to just use my pins to hold it down so the part of the collar that has that um stay you're going to place that part facing your neckline this way right sides facing each other this way and then use your pins to just hold down the collar so the collar is going to stop at this point where the flap is starting i hope you guys understand just follow what i'm doing so just use your pins to hold it down this way so after that take it to your sewing machine and stitch it together using half of an inch so just join the collar to the neckline all the way around it using half of an inch so it's going to look like this on the right side so it's going to look this way so stitch it down and when i'm done with that i will show you guys what it looks like so guys after i stitch down the collar to the neckline this is what it looks like you can see how neat this came out so this is what you should have as well so the next thing to do is to turn over with our lining now that we've joined all the lining together just like the uh, main top so i'm going to place the right side of my lining facing the right side of my fabric this way and then i'll fix my collar into the center this way so i'll place the necklines now 
both the front neckline all through to the back i'm going to place the lining on it this way this is the front neckline this is the back neckline and then the remaining part of the front neckline so after uh, merging the two fibers together i'm going to stitch it all the way down using half an inch i'll join them together and i'll show you guys next so after i join the neckline of the lining and the main fabric together this is what it looks like so i'll go ahead to notch it and then i will merge the sides together as well this way and then i'll stitch it all the way down when i get to this point i would just follow the same shape and stitch it using that half of an inch that i added i will close it up all the way to the lower part and also close up this side so make sure you close up the sides first before you close up the lower part to avoid any mistake so when i'm done with that i will show you guys so after closing up the sides all the way around close up the two sides and i closed up the lower part as well this is what we have before i turn it over to the right side i'm going to form small notches all the way i'm going to just cut the um seam allowance this way so make sure it doesn't get to the thread just cut the seam allowance this way so after doing that i'm going to now flip it over to the right side from the armhole area remember the armhole is still opened flip it over to the right side this way so after doing that i'm going to iron my make sure you bring out all the edges very well and then go ahead to iron it out very well and i'll show you guys what it looks like so after i turned over to the right side i went ahead to give this jacket a very good press so you can see the color coming out very beautiful you can see how neat it looks so you should have something that looks like this if you followed this method and i also folded in the armhole area i folded in twice and stitched it down this is what it looks like as well i've also ironed it out the last and final thing to do is to insert the buttons so my button is going to start directly at this point where the flap ends so i'm going to just um fix my button in about two inches apart from each other this way I'll still, i'm still going to fix more buttons all the way down to where that triangle is starting from and then i'll make the appropriate um button holes on the other side so this is where we end this video for today i hope you found it useful and i hope you learned something new don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video